In this video I'll show you how I make the intro that you have just saw, also the speed ramping and the transitions. First of all we're gonna make the speed ramping, so I'm pressing Ctrl R, I'm jumping 2 seconds into the video, I'm pressing this down menu, adding out point and then I'm taking down the second part of that clip so I can increase the second part of the clip and make it fast forward. Our clips that we're working with is already on slow motion, so that's the reason I'm not slowing up the first part of the video. I'm pressing Ctrl R on the second one again, I'm going 2 seconds forward into the clip, adding a speed point and then grabbing the end side of that video until it becomes around a thousand percent. And I'm doing that for all the 4 footages that I'm working with today. After finishing setting up the speed of the clips, I can preview and double check if everything is alright. If that's the case, you can highlight one of the clips, go to the inspector and in Retime and Scaling, you can set up your Retime process to Optimal Flow and you can do that with all of the clips. So far we have added some basic speed ramping, we're not going in depth on that. So next we're going to Effects Library and we're looking for Adjustment Clip, we're setting it up on over the timeline. And I'm making sure the length of that adjustment clip is fitting just the first clip of my timeline. And then I'm highlighting this adjustment clip and I'm going into the fusion page. In here it's very simple, we're not gonna go very deep into that. And in here we're gonna touch just a few stuff, it's not gonna be anything complicated. I'm leaving my media in in my left viewer and my media out in the second viewer, the right one. And I'm adding a transform node between media in and out. Then I highlight this transform node, then I'm opening the inspector and then I'm moving my playhead on my timeline in the fusion about in the middle of that clip which is in around 36-38 frame. Then I'm going into the inspector and I'm creating a keyframe, values of 1 on size and then I'm going to the very first frame and then I'm zooming in on the size of my liking, I'm leaving mine on around 1.7. Now I'm gonna preview and then you're gonna notice that it's going pretty slow so we need to do something about it. And while your transform node is selected, you can go to your spline tab right here. Next step is to enable the transform and the size. Then you can click on this icon which is gonna bring you the full view of your keyframes. Then click this icon which is gonna select all the keyframes that you're having. And then press S on the keyboard so you can smooth on the edges. And then we're gonna make ease in curve like this. Make sure that it's perfectly aligned and the two dots are covering over each other. And you're having ease in curve like this one. And to make that transition even smoother you want to go to settings in the inspector. Enable the motion blur. Increase the quality to 4. And the angle to 230. Then you can close the inspector and preview your first transition of your first clip. So that is your intro transition, this is what the video is gonna be starting. And now you need to make a transition between the second video and the first one. So again you want to highlight the same adjustment clip that you have just created. And then go to the fusion tab again. And this time highlight the transform one that you're having and select the next transform which is gonna be connected to the other one. You can highlight this second transform. You can go in the middle of that timeline, around frame 37 in my example. Then you can create a keyframe on the size value of 1, you can select it. And then go to the end of your timeline and increase the values of size of your liking. I am leaving mine to around 1.8. And again, this is not enough because it's gonna run pretty slow. As you can see, I'm gonna preview it right now. So we need to do something about it, so we highlight the second transform going in the spline and in here you want to make sure that transform 2 is just the only one that is selected. We're gonna make a bigger view by clicking here and then selecting all by clicking here. Then press S on your keyboard to smoothen the edges and then we're gonna grab the corners and make it looking like this which is easing out. And after you connected the two squares that you have just seen me doing right now, you can just preview it. You can see that it's working just fine with the speed and we just need a little bit adjustment on the motion. So we're going into a settings again, we're enabling the motion blur, we're decreasing the quality and the angle. And that's pretty much enough for the first clip that we're having on our timeline. Now we have the beginning transition and the transition between the first and the second clip on our timeline. 
now we can go to the second clip we can add adjustment clip there as well you can highlight it go to the fusion page bring the left viewer on the media in and then you can add a transform node again like i said it's not going to be complicated we're going to just use transform node and then a very important part is going into the edit tab and checking how is your last transition ending because you want to start the other transition in the opposite direction that way you're linking them together and as I've noticed, my last transition on the first video is ending up with zooming in. So my first transition of the second clip is going to start up with the zoom in position. So I'm going into my first frame in the transition. I'm selecting the transform and I'm increasing the size. I'm starting out with the zoom in values around 2. Selecting the diamond next to size to create the first clip frame. Then going in the middle of the timeline to create my last point. I'm selecting the values of size to 1. And when I play it through again, it is very slow, so I'm gonna use the spline. And just like before, I'm selecting the transform, selecting everything, and then pressing S on the keyboard so I can smooth on the edges. And I'm gonna make it looking like this. Make it faster in the beginning and then slowly dying out. Also some steps that you're familiar with. I'm going to settings, motion blur, and I'm increasing the quality and the angle. And now you can preview the transitions, which are the last from the first clip and the first transition from the second clip. How are they playing together and looking like just one transition. And then you can keep using the same technique that you have just saw me using for the other ones. And then you can add a really nice background music. Also with some sound effects. Make sure they're synchronized well and they're matching your video tone. If you want some royalty free music and sound effects you can check out my description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.